Tonight's video is just going to be a real short one as my LED scrolling screen that has my donation info that's on my bench, well, it's quit. So tonight we're going to fix that chinese piece of junk. Well, my advertising sign seems to have broken. Hmm. I wonder if we'll be able to fix this piece of shit. Now, I know absolutely nothing about this sign. In fact, I've only seen it apart once, and that's when I first got it. I took it apart to look on the inside. But it's been working fine until today. We'll check the voltage. We'll check the, uh, the regulator, make sure the voltages are correct. Well, that might explain it. Hmm, 10 volts. And the output's only 3.9. Well, my input it should be 12. Maybe my power supply is crapping out. 11.2. Okay, well, that's close. Hmm. Could be the power supply, I guess. We'll try another power supply. This is just runs off 12 volts, so... Over here, I've got it just taped onto a power supply because it's got a cigarette lighter plug on it so this is easy enough to substitute a power supply I'll turn on my other power supply set for 12 volts and see whether whether it does anything different Negative. Looks like it's doing the same thing. Well, almost the same thing. I could try applying 5 volts directly to the uh, the output side of the regulator and see whether the thing works because the voltage is low but what I don't know is is the voltage low because it's being loaded down or is the voltage low because the regulator itself is shot so let's just try putting 5 volts ah Jesus it's the regulator watch this regulator is bad. Okay. 7805 has gone bad. Let me find another 7805 for a playset. I figured it was either going to be the regulator bad or something was latched up and was drawing the voltage down. But here we go. We got a bad regulator. Let me find one. That will fix this thing. It doesn't, they don't have much in the way of a heat sink on this. They just kind of stuck it down to this to the board here. But uh, it's mounted just on the top side of the board here, so it should be relatively easy just to heat up all three pins and just pull it out like that. As you can see, there's actually a place to solder it down here that will uh, provide a better heat sink than they did at the factory on this job. I have another 5 volt regulator here that I pulled out of an item that I know is good. So I'm just going to bend down the pins to make contact with the board. I'm just going to solder it down on the top side of the board and then I'm going to solder the tab down as well.
but now I'll solder the tab at the back to at least give it some type of a heat sink. The other one wasn't soldered very well. But we'll put a little more lead on this one. Ideally, there should be a, a, a nut through here and a bolt. Ideally. But this will do. This will transfer the heat into the plane on the board. I mean, obviously this thing worked because it worked for quite a long time before it acted up. So we're just going to hold that down to get a good wand. Okay, that should be a relatively good bond, I think. Let's uh, try it out and see whether it now works with the new regulator. I believe it works. Let's put this thing back together and I can have my PayPal advertising sign showing in the background of my videos again. The last couple ones you may notice that it's been gone because it broke down. We'll just wipe out the inside of this cabinet. Place the screws, reconnect the remote receiver so that I can program it. Put the back cover back on it. Good enough. Okay, back in business. That's how you can donate to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. That or through my Patreon. Either way, every penny helps. Thanks for watching.